For those unfamiliar with the Paris set radio set from World War II, I'll enlighten you. The official name for the set was the Wadden Mark 7 when created by the British Royal Signals SOE. It's a small clandestine combined transmitter and receiver built primarily for the resistance groups in Europe and Norway. The term Paraset came on later as many were dropped by parachute to their new owners. Capable of both receiving signals from around 3 to 8 MHz and transmitting on a single crystal control frequency, the set has used just three US sourced metal valves. While several of these sets currently reside in museums, there have been far many more replicas built over the years to varying degrees of historic accuracy. For anybody who likes the idea of a challenge, either as a radio amateur or Morse, with a Morse license, of course, or a shortwave listener who just likes using old style sets, here's an opportunity to do just this. I've included the circuit here, as you can see, there, although there are many more websites out there who give full construction details for things like the coil, for example, for someone who'd like to build themselves a set. There are a few parts that could prove difficult to source for a new build, such as the Jones power connector, slow motion tuning drive, and the Morse key, and some of these may need to be substituted by necessity for alternative parts. For example, our set differs from the original with a slow motion drive by having a separate trimmer capacitor. The power plug is also a Jones 4-way instead of the Jones 3-way, and Morse key itself was built from scratch. If you're a licensed radio amateur, then another difficult source part might be the crystal of the right frequency to work on a legal part of the 80 meter amateur band. We were lucky to find a working example with a date code of November 1941 that oscillates at 3.595 MHz. One of the oddities of this particular set is the fact it uses two torch bulbs to allow the trimming of the aerial and tank coil. This type of case used must be up to the constructor as well. Whilst many of the originals were built in a metal cash box style case, others were installed into small suitcases along with the necessary power supply headphones and spare valves, etc. Power-wise, the unit usually needed about 250 volts on the HT and 6.3 on the valve heaters. The HT was normally supplied by a vibrator style power unit. Specification-wise, the receiver uses two of the three valves in a regenerative TRF design, whilst the single valve transmitter would produce around 5 watts. Here's a quick glance at our power set. Um, I was built in a little wooden box with the uh, khaki green. And inside the lid, straight away we have a frequency to dial units chart. Inside you can see the three valves, two receiving valves, one is transmitting. There's the Jones power plug here headphones, receive transmitter switch. These are the two MES bulbs which um, adjust your tank and aerial um, trimming to make sure it's spot on. The crystal, the Morse key and the tuning control with the fine tuner beside it. As I say on the original as, as you probably saw from the pictures the fine tuning control is simply a mechanical thing connected up to the the actual rim of the the knob. This one isn't. This is this is not original, obviously, um, and that's why we used a separate um, component there for it. Uh, inside, we've hear me done earlier on taking out the bits. That's actually what's inside the set. There's not a lot to see really if you think about it. There's quite a few modern components, as you can see with the the um, uh, what should I say the plastic insulated caps and stuff. There's this coil, there's two coils in there, it's a choke. Um, otherwise there really isn't a great deal more underneath. Lastly let's listen to a couple of stations being picked up on the 41 meter broadcast band and after that just a quick few seconds on the amateur band's 80 meters. I hope this uh, was an informative video for some people. They might decide to make themselves a paraset. Um, plenty more information out there on the web if you want to do that. 
Thanks for watching.